Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for, let's do this right today, March 2nd, 2023. I apologize yesterday, I used, <laughs> I said April. It's been a long winter here in Nebraska, and um, I think I was rushing it just a little bit by saying April 1st yesterday. So March 2nd, 2023. Yesterday, we saw an awful lot of whipsaws in the market as we continued to just chop around up and down, back and forth, and we did little to resolve um, anything on the day. So what does that mean for th th this morning? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little information about how we may want to approach the market for today. So looking here at the diamonds, as you can see, we ended up breaking support in here with a lower low yesterday, but by the end of the day, those bulls came in to defend in a very, very choppy session. As a matter of fact, if I throw up a 15 minute chart um, for yesterday, you'll see that all we did was just kind of, well, whipsaw, whipsaw, whipsaw all over the place. Um, finally resolving a little bit to the upside and you can see here in the pre-market we're trying to push up a little bit as well trying to get a little bit of follow-through going here on the diamonds but that's not the case in the other indexes so uh, we'll see how this plays out at the end of the day of course the last couple of days we have seen the pre-market Dow pump up heading into the numbers and then falter by the time the uh, market does open so we'll want to watch that close now looking at this chart we can see right in here we have a resistance level above you'll notice all of this price action right through here providing a little bit of resistance in the chart so if we rally today and just keep in mind that's going to be a big point move if we move all the way back up here then um, that's where I would look for that resistance level for the bulls if they can push on through now if they push through that level I would suggest they go a little bit higher but I, I want you to keep in mind that is a giant move it certainly is a potential the way this market um, whipsaws but watch that carefully now the only problem we have with this is if the bears were to find inspiration here today and if the bears find inspiration i would suggest we retest this low or break it and if we break that low well unfortunately there's not a whole lot of price support in here until we drop pretty significantly um, here in the Dow you'll want to watch that close now technically we continue to run into that major issue here notice we've got our 50-day moving average um, this this dash blue line is the 50-day moving average and you can see that 50-day moving average is now rolling over and we've got our 34 and 20 EMA above that providing some resistance up there so if we can find enough bullish energy to push us all the way back up there you can see we have that potential moving average squeeze that could um, cause us some trouble with progressing on through all of that price resistance and if those bears were to find that uh, that um, energy today to push us lower you could see it wouldn't be all that much of a surprise to say that we test that 200 day moving average here in the diamonds let's take a look at our spy our spy is in a much different situation here because um well we have had uh, this unfortunate complication where we made a lower high and we have now followed that with a lower low. And unfortunately, we're also failing here in the SPY. We're giving up this, this trend break where we broke through that bear trend from all of last year. And now we're kind of slipping below that level here in the chart. So a little bit of a complication here going on, as you can see. And it is that possibility that we've created um, kind of a steep downtrend right in here with this area right here being the lower high. Now, if those bulls find inspiration here today, I would kind of suggest that 
um, you can see we're finding some price support right in here that we could maybe rally up into this area for that next price resistance level in the chart. You'll want to keep in mind though, as we move back up, we really could run into that kind of that double whammy of downtrend and price resistance that we're going to have to press through for those bulls to push much higher. Again, if they can push through here though, I would say right up in there would be the next level in the chart. And, and again, we're going to have that double whammy there to deal with. If those bears find inspiration today, you can see where we're at right now, pushing a little bit lower. They're popping up just a little tiny bit right now. They've been kind of soft all morning. Um, well, there's some price support right in this area. We wouldn't have to move a whole lot lower to find some price support um, in the SPY and kind of a well substantial area of price support um, at that so watch that closely now taking a look at our technicals here's where we have a little bit more bullish hope in the technicals here on the spy we've crossed down through our 50-day moving average and we're kind of resting in there this morning around that 200 day moving average that could provide us that little bit of price support but keeping in mind we've got a lot of levels of technical uh, patterns here um, above us that could also serve as resistance. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ also suffers that complication from having the lower high followed by the lower low. We still are holding on to this break of the uh, the bear trend of last year but unfortunately we're not looking very healthy here in this morning uh, maybe even gapping a little bit lower um, here in the NASDAQ. Um, there is some price support as you can see right across this area but it's not well it, it's not a clear price support level so maybe we'll catch some price support um, in this area. If those bears were to find uh, more inspiration today I would suggest a push back into here um, picking up these price support levels might be a possibility if those bulls find inspiration well once again i'm going to suggest we push back up here and we test some of these recent highs here in the chart and there may be several areas in there that we could test and keeping in mind we still have a downtrend and those major price resistance levels to break through to turn this into a bullish chart so watch that closely now technically we again have that uh, we enjoy a little bit of of help here with our technicals um, I think there is that possibility that we could test the 50-day moving average before um, we get much of a bounce here we'll want to watch that closely and see we're trying to cling to that 200 day right now so keep a close eye on that and then if we take a look at our Russell well IWM um, held up uh, about as strong as any of the indexes yesterday but it really didn't resolve anything. Notice right in here, we're trying to hold on to this price resistance area. We're creating this um, wedging pattern here in the market. So you could certainly see fairly easily if those bears were inspired today, we could fall off of this little cliff in here and we would push down looking for the next levels of price support in the chart. And there's not a lot of clear ones until we reach right in here where we catch that little price support through this area which would be a pretty big point move if that were to occur um, if the bulls find inspiration well i would look right up in here in this little consolidation top where we continue to pop up in here and we continue to reject this area right in here so if we rally into here and just note that we'll be rallying into price resistance and downtrend in that chart and then on the technical side of things well that 50-day moving average is is down there so we really could not rule out that possibility that we might test that here soon if those bears find um, inspiration in the market um, let's take a look at our vix now this is something that continues to be rather perplexing to me and that is that even though our economic data continues to pile up and pile up and pile up the evidence that we are likely going into recession that our economy is slowing we have no fear 
um, here in uh, the market. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. I don't know if we truly are not fearful or if we're just being complacent here in the market. Now, looking at this chart right here, um, there's a, that downtrend break that we did have, and we could be holding this area in the chart as a price support. And if the bears were to find that inspiration and push up from here, that may be where that fear really starts to come in on the market. But I can't rule out the possibility that we can, we, we just have this capacity to ignore economic data. We ignore that the Fed's going to keep raising rates. We ignore that um, that Europe is still going to continue to raise rates. We're, we, we just don't seem to care that our manufacturing is in a substantial decline. Um, and um, we, we, we just want to buy something. So as long as that continues, I still think there is that possibility that those bulls can just push right on through and ignore these economic um, um, issues out here and dropping that VIX um, on down here into these levels of complacency. So can't rule that out as well um, in this chart. It's a little bit on the perplexing side, as I said. If we take a look at our T2122, this may be our best hope that the bulls will find some uh, something in here to grab a hold of is that is that we're down here on the low side of T2122. Um, now, unfortunately, we're not as low as we can go. We can go substantially lower here in T2122. And so if those bears were to find inspiration today on this, then I would su suggest that we could come all the way down into here. And that I, I, I suspect, guys, that we could be winding up for a big potential move in the market. Now, I can't tell you when that's going to trigger, when that could occur, um, and I can't tell you if it's gonna be bearish or bullish, but um, I think we're winding up to some kind of a significant move here in the market. So watch carefully and be prepared. Now, if those bulls find inspiration, there's your big upside move. Uh, possibility if they can find inspiration, something to grab onto to bring in those bulls. Watch that closely. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now, T2108 continued to slip yesterday. And while that's, while that's happening, we're starting to create a little bit of damage in here um, on this chart. You'll notice there's some price support levels in here through these peaks. Um, unfortunately, we've given those up now, but I will say that we still have that opportunity that we can hold that trend and bounce from here. So I don't think all is lost here on uh, T2108, but we are starting to get into a little bit of a questionable zone um, on that if those bears were to find inspiration and continue to push. So watch that carefully. I suspect that we might get some kind of an upside rally though before we see uh, more bears kind of come in and pushing things down. So watch that close. Now our T2107, um, is holding up pretty strong and and what I showed you in the Russell the Russell's just holding up pretty darn strong in that IWM um, we have this upside trend and we haven't really given anything up yet and yesterday that selling that came in you can see created almost no um, damage here um, in that chart. So clearly we moved down a little bit but nothing bad we still have 55 percent of our stocks holding above our 200 day moving average so got to give that up to the bulls they're hanging in here pretty stubbornly uh, particularly on those small caps now if we take a look at our t2101 well we're not getting really good momentum moves here in the market in t2101 we're whipsawing a lot and we're continuing to do that on you know volume that's rather questionable um, we continue to stay in relatively low volume moves um, overall as we uh, chop and whipsaw around here um, in this uncertainty. So not sure we're getting very good data there. How about we take a look at that economic calendar here this morning. Now we've got a couple of things here that are going to happen before we open the day and that's those jobless claims. We're going to get those motor vehicle sales. Those have already come in and then we're going to get jobless claims and remember that's been pretty problematic here for us. Last week we saw initial claims decline by 3,000 um, and that's not what the Fed wants to see. The Fed wants to see jobs being lost 
And so it's one of those situations where bad news could be good news uh, for the market. So we want to see those starting to grow. Unfortunately, consensus is suggesting it's probably not going to grow all that much this week. So um, watch that one close this morning. And then we've got productivity and cost. That, of course, will be very important for today. Could move us around. Both of those happening before the bell. After we get through that, we get a relax just a little bit. We get a natural gas report, which typically doesn't move the market all that much. We've got some bond auctions later on this afternoon. And then we're going to hit some Fed speakers here um, um, a a after the bell and just a huge round round of them coming in tomorrow. Now keep in mind as you plan forward into Friday, we've got a PMI composite and an ISM number, uh, services number coming out and then just just a parade of Fed speak out there. And they've been pretty consistent in suggesting, hey, we're going to keep raising rates, even though the market wants to try and believe that's not the case. Um, let's take a look at our um, economic, or excuse me, our earnings calendar for today. And one of the things we're going to see is that we're going to start to decline in the number of earnings and the number of those real market moving type earnings. However, today we still have a pretty good day of reports. One of our bigger uh, big tech reports today that could move us around would be um, um, Broadcom, AVGO. Um, that'll be an interesting one. Um, now, AVGO has been a major supplier um, to Apple, and we've been seeing, you know, Apple suffering here just a little bit after their earnings and their um, not so strong a guidance looking forward. So we'll want to watch that one closely here today. We're also getting some retail here, um, quite a few retail reports this morning and Macy's had a good quarter apparently in the holiday and uh, they're spiking up here this morning. We're going to hear from um, Nordstrom's here today. We're going to hear from Kroger on that grocery side of things. We're going to hear from a uh, little gold miner here uh, this morning. We're going to hear from Hormel. Um, ooh, Hormel not looking so good right in there. Um, another retail, um, we're going to get BBY, Best Buy here today, and we're going to get Costco. Um, so a lot of retail here, and we've been seeing that retail really mixed and, and a lot of the big retail suffering pretty substantially here, suggesting um, not so good results, um, l potentially looking forward. And then if we look at um, uh, one of our um, um, also major notables here today would be VMW maybe later on this afternoon. So keep an eye on those. Now, if you want to catch the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. How about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find those videos to be useful or helpful if you could please click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment and share this video out on your social media feed that helps the channel to continue to grow i want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that we are growing toward 30,000 subscribers but it's really slowed down we're grinding our way up there so thank you to everyone who continues to click those thumbs up buttons and answer comments um, um, from other um, other folks who comment on the videos that helps a lot in that engagement so you guys are awesome i truly appreciate it also thank you yesterday for catching me on my mistake of saying hey it was april 1st um, um i thought that was kind of fun. i knew as soon as i said it somebody was going to catch me in the the comment section i'm glad you did that just means you're listening and paying attention to the video let's take a look at a few of these charts that are setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security uh, make sure you're doing your own due diligence make sure they fit you personally make sure you understand that every trade fits your personal risk tolerance and your personal style in trading you never 
never ever want to blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. I'm going to continue to mention stocks like COTY because, well, why not? That is a beautiful looking consolidation here in the chart and this is moving out toward its trend. This might be maybe getting ready to go um, and follow through to the upside at any time. I would be keeping an eye on COTY. Um, I've been keeping an eye on XLF. XLF, I think, could be setting up for a potential short. Um, watching that closely here, um, you can see we've got a bit, sorry for all the lines on the chart here, but we've got a shoulder over here. We've got this big old rounding head over here. And that possibility that we may be making a shoulder over here on this side, suggesting maybe a little downside here um, in the financials. Keep an eye on that one. So I personally am looking for a short in that trade. Let's take a look um, at energy. Now, this was something interesting yesterday. Energy was starting to show a major bearish pattern showing up here yesterday, and we whipsawed this right back up yesterday. It didn't resolve the downtrend, but it did show a whole hold of support. Now it's really going to be an interesting thing to see. Will our oil um, respond back to the upside? We still saw a little bit of build in supplies yesterday, though less than before, uh, the month before. But let's keep a close eye, or excuse me, the week before. Let's keep a close eye on this. This has that potential to go either direction. Now remember for me, um, I could take this as a potential short trade failing this support level, but I can't really get long this stock based on my rules that I trade until we break the downtrend and hold a higher low. I'm not a bottom picker. So we need to break that downtrend, hold a higher low, hold some of that support in there. I want to see those buyers coming up. That starts the upside trend. So keep an eye on that. And I think both of those have a potential here because we typically see um, gas prices hit one of their highest prices of the year right around uh, Memorial Day. So might want to keep a, an eye on that. Take a look at um, this stock, um, FTDR. That's holding in there nicely. We had a little bit of whipsaw in here yesterday, but still holding in here. I think there's a little bit more question whether this is going to push through to the upside with that big candle yesterday, but it is worth keeping an eye on. I think we still should keep watching uh, DraftKings. Boy, we love gambling um, um, right now. The, the, the gambling sector is, uh, is hot. And if you look at DraftKings in here, holding in here on this trend and support, I would keep an eye on that. There may be some upside potential. And speaking of that, you know, we could look at stocks like MGM. MGM made a nice move yesterday, popping out of here, trying to move on higher. I've been mentioning Win Casino. Um, that's moving on up here, looking pretty good. Looks like we're gonna get a little pullback here this morning, so keep an eye on that. You know, one thing we really need to be paying attention to here is these bond yields and bond prices here, guys. And we saw a pretty good gap down yesterday and move in that US dollar. But this morning we're seeing that dollar strengthen and move back up here. So I'd wanna keep a pretty close eye on that. There is that possibility that we resume this uptrend in the dollar and that usually is not good usually is not good for the overall stock market. So keep an eye on that. Last but not least, keep an eye on this CRWD. It's kind of a slow grinder, but I like the way we've kind of broken through this little choppy um, consolidation area here in the chart. We're resting back here in a nice little consolidation. I would look for that next opportunity to come up here in this chart at any time. Keep an eye on CRWD for that upside move. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for participating in the channel. Um, can't thank you enough. Wish you all the best, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.